IYHA Network is brought to you in part by Top Gun Freight, a step above the rest. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. This is Coach Ryan from the IYHA Network. Thanks for joining me today. And first off, I want to thank our coaches in the IYHA uh, for all that you do. You guys are really 100% involved, and the kids enjoy seeing you out on the ice, and we really couldn't do it without you. So thanks to all the efforts that are put in by our coaches on and off the ice. Sometimes we forget how much time they put in off the ice, uh, and we only see them there for the one or two hours a week. So thanks again for everything. We really appreciate it. And now on to the highlights. So we're going to show you some of the Indy Minion plays. Uh, we had some newcomers to the highlight reel. We had some of our veterans that were out there representing. Uh, we did a great job uh, in our last game. It was really fantastic. We actually had a couple honorary minions that came in to fill a few spots that were open, and uh, they did great as well. So we're going to get right to the highlights. Thanks again, everybody, for watching these videos. Make sure you share them. We're trying to grow the sport of hockey here in Indiana. We've got the junior racers learn to play hockey classes available and some other opportunities for your kids to grow and get involved in the great sport of hockey. So thanks again, and we'll see you at the rink. Okay, coming in at number 10, we've got the uh, Ice Gremlins out coming to get Shane and Jonah. They're our junior minions coaches. they got younger brothers on the team, and you'll see Shane there at the top of the screen. You're going to see him come over trying to keep that puck in play for the youngsters, and boom, Ice Gremlins got him there. So we'll pull him back up. There he is, back on his feet. And uh, you see him, oh my gosh, there he goes again. The Ice Gremlins are tough. They come after not only the minions players, but the coaches as well. So we saw that happen a few times during the game. Matter of fact, I think... Uh, Coach Adam can speak to that, and we'll show you that highlight. Let's see those dance moves one more time. There goes Shane. But there's uh, Coach Adam there. We're going to highlight him up there at the top of the screen in blue, and you're going to see the Ice Gremlins come after him. So, again, they don't just hit the Minions players. They hit the Minions coaches, and there goes Coach Adam. So, luckily, everybody was all right. We had fun with these videos. Boom, the Gremlins got him there. So, watch out for those Ice Gremlins. They're always out, usually in October. We don't see them too often later in the season. Normally they're just out at the beginning of the season, but there's a couple of them still lingering around, so keep an eye out for them. Number nine tonight, this is Aria. Now, Aria's gonna show us uh, what happens when the Ice Gremlins really are out to play. She, here she comes, and boom, they got her this time. And now they've got some sort of ice magnet. They've got her pinned to the ice. She can't get up. Uh, she's fighting through it, but and finally she's gonna work her way through because she's strong and she's gonna get away from them. But that's the first time I've seen them employ that. Uh, a new ice magnet, that must be some new new technology that the ice gremlins have there. They, they've got her down, she's trying to get back up. She's stuck there on the ice and uh, finally again muscles through and is able to pull herself away from those ice gremlins. All right, now we're gonna get back to the actual highlights from the hockey game. So the next highlight coming in at number eight, this is gonna be Big Will. Will's gonna be there, number 35 in blue. You're gonna see him working hard there on the faceoff. Puck's gonna come out in front here. Uh, defense is trying to pick it up, but boom, I think that's another one of those ice gremlins. Now, another defensive player, Parker, comes back to keep the puck from uh, going in right away, but that doesn't stop Will. He's still fighting for it there in front of the net, pulls it back out with his backhand, and then is able to stuff it in. So I didn't get a good angle on it, but you can see the puck there in the back of the net. That's a great job there by Will. Number seven tonight, this is going to be an unbelievable goal here. Again, working the backhand to the forehand, that's going to be Connor Sands. I take that back, that's forehand to backhand. So well done with the backhand shot. So again, Connor's one of our honorary minions for the night. Came over to play with us, we appreciate that. And thanks for all you do, uh, Coach Mike. Number six tonight, there's Xavier on a breakaway. Now I love how Xavier does that tap and shoot. So he doesn't take that long shot. He wants to make sure he gives himself a real good opportunity to score. So he t just gives a little tap there, keeps control of the puck, and then takes a shot. Okay, number five, this is Xavier again. He's coming back on defense here. That's him hustling back there in the blue jersey, and he's just gonna poke check the puck away at the last second and prevent that goal. So showing he can play both sides of the puck. He scores goals and he prevents goals. You gotta do all the work on both sides of the puck, boys and girls, to be a good hockey player. Great job, Xavier. All right, coming in at number four tonight on our highlight reel, it's number 35. He was in the highlight reel earlier. That's Will Coles. He's gonna pick up the puck here on the left side, beat the defender, stay on his feet, keep that puck out front, and get the easy goal. Great job there by Will. He's had a couple tonight, and he's probably not done. Look at that celebration, and a good high five. Will's been playing great. He's keeping his balance. You'll see a lot of times those ice gremlins grab a lot of players, but not Will. He likes to stay on his feet, and that turns out to give him a few extra opportunities to put the puck in the back of the net. 
a great goal by Will. I like this. He's got the celebration and then the face of determination, and then he's going to turn and hustle back to get back on defense. Great job there by Will. This one's going to be Jackie. Jackie's going to steal the puck right here. She's an honorary minion coming down to help us out because we were missing a few players. She hustles down the ice, has plenty of time, moves the puck from her backhand to her forehand, sets up for the shot, and makes sure she puts the puck in the net. Great job there. Good smile. A nice high five for Coach. But again, watch her speed. She's so quick. She gets down the ice in such great time that even if she made a mistake, she was going to have time to correct it. So by turning on the turbo jets and hustling down the ice, she gives herself a lot of chances to score goals. She's going to have a great season. Uh, we'll see her in the U6 games on uh, Saturdays. Great job there, Jackie. Thanks for helping us out. Number two tonight, another one of our superstar minion girls. Here comes Sloan down the right wing. She's going to keep her balance. And then watch this long shot. She's got the sniper shot here all the way from the blue line. Perfect angle and kept her balance uh, till the last second. That way she could get more power on the shot. Uh, fantastic goal there by Sloan. I'm not sure if that's her first or second. I know she's a new player, but again, watch her rear back. She's going to really pull back here and, and launch this puck and then follow through right towards the net. And that makes sure that the puck goes exactly where she wants it to and gets that goal. I'm really proud of her. She's turned up her game recently, and I think she's going to have a big season. So keep an eye out for Sloan on the scoreboard. I'm sure you're going to see her up there a lot. All right, and now we're down to our number one play of the game. This is uh, Cole. Cole just had a fantastic game. That's him taking the first shot and then getting his own rebound there. Puts that puck in the net. And then off the face off here, you're going to see number eight. That's him there in gold. He's going to come around on the other side, play a little defense, pick up the puck, move his way down the right wing here. And then he's going to take a long shot from a hard angle, put that puck in the net, and then a nice little celebration. So again, Cole wasn't done there. That's two. And I'm not even sure he may have had one before those. But here he is again, he's waiting for the loose puck there on the left side, picks up the loose puck, heads down towards the net, and then just flicks it in. That's an easy one for him. I like the running man, Sully. And then this one's just unbelievable. You'll just see here, every player on both teams are on the ice. Just look how many players are out there, and Cole's weaving his way, dodges his way all the way down the ice and finishes up. So I think he had at least four goals, if not five. There he is again, number eight. Gets the puck, keeps it out front. He's got a little help from his buddy Desmond there. Again, weaving and dodging through all the different players. You're going to see him score this goal and watch as he's celebrating. You're going to see every kid on the team watching him because he just had such a great game and Phil's going to be one of our stronger players. Keep up the good work, everybody. Fantastic game. Happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you at the ring.